Welcome, welcome, welcome to another Pokemon TCG Dead Build, and today we're looking at Greninja and Zoroark from Unbroken Bonds. Yes, I love this card. This is probably like the biggest dark type Pokemon out right now until Sword and Shield come in, but it's not there yet. We're a couple days away, well, from the time this video has been recorded. But yes, Greninja and Zoroark, I, I love it. I love it. It's fantastic. Um, 250 HP is it's okay. It's fairly low from the usual tag teams, you usually look around 260, 270, but it's fine. Dark type is okay because then you get access to things like Dangerous Drill, um, Dark City gives Dark uh, basic Pokemon free retreat cost, um, Black Market Prism Star gives it one uh, less prize when it's knocked out. Um, there's, a, there's a few things, there's a few trickery items with uh, with Dark Pokemon, it's nice, we like this. Um, two retreat cost is... It's okay. Uh, things like Beware can get it down to zero. Um, the new balloon that comes out brings it down to zero. Uh, a skateboard and u ball brings it down to one, which isn't too bad. Um, weakness to fighting is meh, because you've got things like Pico running around, you're going to have the new more Pico, uh, and people want to counter that. Uh, there, there's a few counters, there's a few people that want to counter electric types right now, so it's not the best weakness to share, but you know, it, it's, it's fine. It's, it's better than most. Resistance to Psychic is okay, because you get a little bit of resistance on things like Mew to Mew. Um, it's not too bad. It's not bad, I guess. It has one attack and one GX attack. Um, Dark Pulse, one darkness, one colorless, 30 damage, but it does 30 more damage for every Dark type energy attached to every single one of your Pokemon. Fantastic. I love it. It is it's great. I've got no issues with it. It's, you can stack up damage very, very well. I have no issue with it, to be honest. And for the same cost, you have Dark Union GX. Put two in any combination of Dark Pokemon GX and Dark Pokemon EX from your discard pile onto your bench. If this Pokemon has at least one extra energy attached to it, so three energy, um, one darkness, two colorless, uh, attach two energy cards from your discard pile to each Pokemon that you put onto your bench in this way. Yeah, I can... I, I Yeah. It's not... It's all right. It never really gets used, though, so... Eh. It's all right better than most again but of course Greninja and Zorok are not alone we're gonna see who they are paired up with so first off we have Absol from team up um when Sword and Shield come out I'm definitely gonna use Absol a bit more I've started to a bit more actually um I love it it's great uh really good for what the meta is right now uh because of its ability if your opponent's as Pokemon is a basic the retreat cost is one colorless more I don't mind it it's good it's pretty good um, shuts them out in the active and of course since it doesn't specify it can stack well I'm assuming it stacks I've never actually tested that before but considering it doesn't say you can't use more than one Absol ability like at a time probably stacks it's great love it I've got no issue with it um, don't worry about the attack we're not gonna worry about that but if you do ever use it 30 damage and 30 more for each retreat cost in your opponent's active Pokemon um, it's fine uh, we have a the Persian GX uh, it's good for a little lock off, um, prevent all damage of attacks including damage done to this Pokemon, not all your Pokemon, just this one, by your opponent's tag team Pokemon and Ultra Beasts, and your opponent's Pokemon that have any special energy attached to them. So basically, if it is any of those three, Lothan Persian can just say, nah, I don't want to get hurt by that right now, don't want to do it. Um, decent attack, 120 for 3 energy, it's a, bit, it's a bit much for just 120, but including it's a stage 1 GX for 2 prizes, it's... It's not the best, but it's, it's kind of good to, you know, just have up there as a stalling tactic, I guess. And for the same cost, does 120 to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Or one of your opponent's Pokemon. No, my bad, I read that wrong. To one of your opponent's Pokemon, but it isn't affected by weakness, resistance, or any other effects. So it, you could snipe Keldeo if you really want to. You could snipe Alola Ninetales if you really want to. It's, yeah, I I actually don't have a problem with that. That is not too bad. We also have... Darkrai Prism Star to attach extra energy on to help boost Greninja and Zorog. Um, but if you do decide to use it, it's 4 Darkness Energy, 120 damage, and your opponent's active Pokemon is now asleep, but yet they have to flip 2 coins instead of 1, and if either of them is Tails, they are still asleep. Add that with Slumbering Forest, and they will probably never wake up. It is fantastic. I, It's good. Shame it's a Prism Star though, but what can you do? It's, it's, it's decent. We have Honchkrow GX. As long as this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, it has to be the active, your opponent can't play any tool cards, special energy, or stadium cards from their hand. So with the Lowland Persian and Honchkrow, you're kind of seeing a pattern here. You're either locking them off from doing anything specific, like adding in, say, for example, Prism Stadiums, or any special tool cards, like a skateboard for your Jirachis. Um, anything special that might, that might 
give you a bit of trouble, Honchkrow prevents it, and then say if they somehow get around it and do it, uh, then you've got a Lowland Persian to kind of just deal with it and say, nah, you got away with it that time, but not this time. It's pretty good. And for one darkness, double colorless energy, we have Featherstorm, 90 damage, but it does 30 to two of your opponent's bench GX and EX. Has to be GX or EX, can't be basic. Baby, you okay? <laughs> yeah. What's up? Just getting stuff. Yeah, okay. What you Oh, is it? Oh, you're still recording. No, yeah, I'm still. No, it's fine. Chop it out. Love you, love you, love you, love you. Sorry, sorry. No, it's okay. Love you. We also have Unfair GX for double colorless energy. Your opponent reveals their hand and you discard two cards from it. To be honest, we're not really going to look at this. We're not really going to do this. We're not even going to attempt. Just, there's no point, really. There's, we've got better GX attacks at our disposal. It's fine. And of course, if we have a dark deck, we cannot forget about Weavile GX. Just move energy around as much as you wish. Move basic dark energy, by the way, not just energy. Basic dark energy from any Pokemon that you wish. It's fantastic. We love, we love Weavile. It's fantastic. Amazing for dark decks. We have Umbreon and Darkrai, uh, 2 Darkness, 1 Colorless Energy, 150 and does 60 to 1 of your opponent's GX or benched EX, uh, has to be the bench and it has to be GX or EX. Just like a uh, Honchkrow cannot be, it can't be, a, it can't be a non-GX or a non-EX if you're playing Expanded. And Dark Moon, your opponent can't play any training cards from the hand during the next turn, but if this Pokemon has at least 5 extra Dark Energy, has to be Dark, the opponent's Axe Pokemon is knocked out, so that is the ultimate stalling tactic. It is, it can be done. Just if you really want to use it, that is up to you. Um, we might come into a time where we need to use it. You never know. But nice. It's nice. We also have Dedene for extra draw. Put onto the bench. Discard your hand. Draw six. We know what Dedene does. Everybody loves Dedene. And we have Naganadal. Everyone knows what Naganadal does. Um, once you're in your turn, attach an uh, energy card from your discard to this Pokemon. Everyone loves it. Everyone's, it's fine. It's great. We also have one copy of Cherish Ball to find energy X's. More specifically, Dedene. Um, we have two custom catches, two dangerous drills, discard a uh, dark type Pokemon from your hand and discard a tool card or a special energy or a stadium. Um, we have Pokemon Communications, just one copy. We have two, topies, two copies of Tag Call, one Black Market Prism Star, like I said before, um, gives off one less prize card to all of your dark type Pokemon. So all of our normal GXs will give off one and our tag teams will give off two. So it's great. Dark City, again, as I said, basic, Pokemon, basic dark type Pokemon in play have no retreat cost. That is, again, really great. We have four Cynthias, two Cynthia and Caitlyn's. Two Guzman Hollers, two Lilies, two Red and Blues to quickly evolve up um, our Pokemon into GXs and get extra energy on. Three Stealthy Hoods prevent all effects of your opponent's abilities done to the Pokemon attached to this card. Uh, this card is attached to my fault. Remove any such existing effects, which means things like Keldeo will be non-existent. Anyone who gets any damage um, taken away off them doesn't exist. It does not exist at all. Abilities are basically shut down. This is basically power plant for everybody in the form of a tool card and i don't get why more people are not using this i want to attempt to see how this is done and i'm really excited i'm really excited for this and we also have 13 dark energy so without being said let's just let's jump into it okay so lightning and colorless okay ah the board has changed wow everything's changed okay so i've not played this since they've done the update for sword and shield being my sword and shield um from the day this is recording is about two days away this looks really polished now oh my gosh what is wow this looks different oh my gosh this is so different now whoa this is it's a bit different even the player icons are different whoa this is, this is pretty good i like this it's a bit more compact it's a tiny bit more compact though oh and the okay right so there is a new rule going around. I've just realized this thing. There is a new rule going around. So, the new rule is that if you go first, you cannot use any supporter cards on your turn one. If you go first. That's insane. And it's, I've realized that's coming to play now. That's starting now. Okay. I didn't think that would start until the Friday. Right. Okay. I didn't think that would start until Friday. If I knew it would start, then I would have... Oh, right. Huh. Everything's changed now. Right, so yeah, there are there's a few new changes coming out when Sword and Shield comes out. Not just the cards, not just like V and V Max, but there's there's a few new rule changes as well. So yeah, like I said before, if you go turn one, you can't use any supporters, which is insane. 
Um, you... Fairy types are becoming non-existent. I think I've said this in another video, but fairy types are becoming non-existent. I think from Sword and Shield onwards, it's going to be discontinued. So we'll still have um, the cards from Ultra Prism onwards until Sword and Shield for fairy types. But I think after that, we won't. Um, I have a feeling that we might not get... Um, that we might not get any of our... Oh, wow. That was a nice hit. Too bad. We it's the only one. It's the only one that... Uh, you know what? I'm going to do communication first. But yeah, I have a feeling that we're not going to get dragon types as well. Because we've not had dragon types come out for a while either. Um, yeah, get Sneasel. Get Sneasel. Everything, it's acting faster though. It is, it's, it's quicker. Yeah, the game's acting a bit quicker. Right, so Poipo, another one, and I'll do red and blue afterwards. I can discard... Not cry. I suppose Hodgecrow is probably not the best Pokemon to bring up, considering that it, there's no GXs in this deck, and uh, there's no GXs in this deck, and there's also uh, I'm also weak to lightning, which isn't good. One thing, one thing I have about his deck though, Pidgeotto, because now that's clunked up bench base when you could have easily got Nuzzle Pokemon easier, and just focused more on. Um, draw cards. We did do a um, we did do a deck on this, the nozzle deck. Um, I'll put it in the description as a as a card um, on the top right. But um, yeah, there was it was a bit it's a bit different. So that would be two four double damage eighty. Right. Okay. Huh. I was really not expecting. I really was not expecting this. I was not expecting the change to come so so early. Right, sorry Dark Rider, but you gotta go and steal the hood because no one really has an ability that will affect me. Weaver, go on. The other one's in the prizes, that's fine. Draw energy on, there we go, perfect. Um, get from you onto you. And get from you onto you again. Um, done, Honch Crow, do the deed. Do the deed, Honch Crow, do the deed. Absol, okay, well that won't really do much because it's Raichu, but on the other hand the Amolgas will work, so uh, So 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 um, Absol on the bench, Cynthia, um, I could do hmm, Yeah, Absol on the bench, Cynthia, if I get Greninja Zorark, that'd be great uh, Being in mind this whole deck is not Specifically designed for Greninja Zorak, it's just there to kind of like he, it's like you can get it in stages. So if you can do Honchkrow and Alolan Persian first, then that would be great. Um, unless you're working with an anti GX deck, then you can try and put up Neganadal. Speaking of, um, if you're like it, it's kind of a big mess around, everyone kind of whoops, that's not me. everyone kind of works with each other, so that's kind of like a big kind of goal just to get everybody to work with each other. Um, let's see. I'm gonna do Stealthy Hood on Honchkrow just to get rid of, just to get rid of space. Right, um, something good, something good. There's the other Weavile. And the problem is I won't get any, and the problem is I won't be able to use red and blue properly. Um, it's got no tool cards, no stadium, so there's no point of doing that either. Brock's Grit this early? That's kind of a waste. This early? Huh. Right, okay. But yeah, this deck kind of likes to work with each other. So again, like I said, if there's anti-GX, then you can try and use Neganator to chip damage away. Honchkrow would be very good. Like, Honchkrow would be able to... Um, block off stadiums or block off tool cards and stuff like that um, then if they if, if you don't get honch crop fast enough you've got a lowland persian to kind of prevent the damage so far like with the special energy or the tag teams or the ultra bees um, it's pretty good it is a pretty like lock off deck and then if you manage to get greninja zorok then you can kind of focus on working with them considering by that point you have more than enough to um what's it called you would have more than enough to um, get a hefty amount of damage actually. Speaking of, attach energy. Yes, that'll be 
fine. And Featherstone. At this point, we're just chipping damage away. Right, there's another Dark Energy. That's fantastic. Um, I'm going to Cynthia again. Because um, I was thinking adding like another Alolan Persian, because in that way you can make it more of a lock off deck. But then I was thinking about it, and these guys don't really have that that chunkiness, that chunky attack. It's got pick off damage, amazing pick off damage, but no big hitter to kind of do a one hit KO with. Greninja Zorak is the only one that could probably do it, or um, or Darkrai Umbreon if it, if it's like double weakness which also helps because in the new set psychic pokemon are going to be weak to dark types which is going to be easier for decks like this to come out so that would be a bit it, it would be easier it would be a lot easier it would it's i think psychic decks are going to have a massive mismatch because i think dark types still have the no dark types now have a resistance to on oh no, a weakness to grass which i don't understand I don't understand why it's a weakness to grow. Oh, bug types. Because bug typing. Eh, that makes sense. Yeah, bug typing. Because bug bugs are strong against dark types in the game. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, yeah, I guess that makes sense. Um, Cynthia again. Should have done Weavile, but eh, it's fine. As long as our Weavile isn't in trouble. Oh, well, you eh, there we go. <laughs> Never mind. Right, next game. Because that was getting. That was a bit. That was fairly easy. Okay, so Psychic and Colors. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Right. But yeah, I was thinking about um I was thinking about what decks to make. Zassian V is apparently a beast of a deck. Like, that is apparently the top tier deck going right now, which is good. Like, I would love to get my hands on, on Zassian V. Um, right, okay. So they can't play any Attacks. They can attach one energy though, but if they do that, I'll get be ten. By the time they do that, yeah, I mean, uh, it's not too bad. Not, yeah, and then yeah, I'm not. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's all right. I'm not too, not too upset about that actually, to be honest. Um, right, I'm gonna do tackle first. Um, Cynthia and Caitlyn and red and blue. Thank God I have at least one. Didn't even check to see if didn't even check to see if I had Weavile, but I'm pretty sure I do. Gushman Hala, um, because I don't need that right now. Because especially since I've got Dark City. Um, right, yeah. Dark City. I'm gonna put this on. Hmm. Actually, you know what? No. Because I need to see what the next card is for. I need to see what the next card is for um, for the draw. Because then I need to use red and blue. If it's important. Because if I did the energy, then I would have been stuck. That means I would have had to do the next card coming. And then that would have been simply gone. If I can, if it's something like dark Cry again, I'll be more than happy to get rid of it. Um, or if it's another dark energy, then that's that's fine too. There we go, Barry. I think we've got. I think that's game. I think that is game. Right, red and blue, perfect. Um, so it's red. Weavile, please. Yes. That's that's game. Two energy, one energy on you. And then you give it to Lord and Persian. Then Shadow Connection. Put it on. Come on, man. You should see. You should see the pattern working right now. You should see the pattern working right now. And Claw Slash. Nice game. <laughs> GG. Nice. Right, one more, because that was really quick. Right, so Psychic and Steel. It's not Dragon typing, though, so that means no Necrozma. Unless it's just Giratina Jirachi. No. I'm not going to go first this time, actually. You may go first. You may go first this time, good sir. Um, okay, that's not great. Communications would be really handy. Yep, there's Drachi, there's Inke, there's Giratina. I thought it was Giratina. Well, on the good note, we have we have weakness advantage and we've got resistance advantage. So, well, let's, let's see, what would that be? 110. Yeah, 110. Yes, yeah, all right. Okay, so, honestly, didn't really want 
didn't really want to use it, but I might have to. Didn't really want to use it. I guess we've got no choice. Um, Stealthy is on to Sneasel, Lily. Ah, uh, that sucks. I, did, I really didn't want to use that, but... I mean... If I do red and blue... Discard two energy. Wait, how much energy do I have in my thing? Discard two energy, find Weavile. Hopefully the other Weavile was in here. Um, yeah, that's actually a good idea. So the plan is, if I just need the other Weavile to be in here. But red and blue, discard two energy, get Weavile onto the thing. Use the GX attack, get Honchcrow, or bring the energy up to Greninja Zorok, bring Honchcrow and the other Weavile back, or is it too basic? No, too in any combination of GX. Okay, so bring the other Weavile and the Honchcrow back. Yeah, that can work. That can work. And then attach two energy on them afterwards. But reset stamp really will mess me up. Absol, Black Market. I've got the Dene though, which is fine. Um, Absol, I guess attach then. Um, keep dark, keep Black Market because I'm going to need that very much. Meowth, um, Tackle, Cynthia and Caitlyn maybe? Cynthia and Caitlyn and there's no point doing Dark Rat. Umbreon, Red and Blue. I didn't even, I didn't check again. What is the matter with me? I didn't check again. If I had a car, I didn't check again. What's the matter with me? I didn't even check. It's fine. Um, it's Mercro. Alright, let's see. That's 100 and, 110 damage. Yeah, I can start filling up someone else at the back. Um, I wonder if this would work. Wait, still the hood. Prevent all effects. Yeah, so that means. Shouldn't that mean I don't get affected by Giratina? That should mean I don't get affected by Giratina. Spell tag will work, because that's not a. That's not. Um, that's an item card. That's not a thing. It's not an ability. So, spell tag would work. I guess if I've got to load up somebody. Be a little meowth. Market. I've got to load up someone. Um, she might have to be macro. Red and blue. Um, Guzma and Hala and a. I say dark energy because I need draw for next turn. Weaver. No, I only have a load of version. Oh, which means the other Weaver is in here. Oh, that's not good. Right. Okay. No, that's fine. It's fine. We can, we can work around with it. It's fine. It's okay. Attach to macro and do that. 360 so we're at 180 I need I need Honchkrow I need Honchkrow One Honchkrow's in there that's not good which means that they oh, which which mean that they ha uh, Dark City again that's not what I needed though Naganado would even be good I guess Right, well, I mean, unless he's got a switch, that works for me, because now that is two retreat cost. So, I'm not even mad about that. Um, can't hit Sneasel, so you can only hit anyone else. I think he's going to try and aim for that Absol. Yeah, he's definitely sniping for that Absol. I need to get Honchkrow out of here, because as soon as I get Honchkrow out, I can stop him getting Viridian Forest, because that's what's worrying me. Never mind. Um, at least we got Dark City. I was gonna get rid of Dark City, but I can't anymore because I need that now. Right. So if that was, so that's one hundred and ten damage. I was about to say if that was a, so if that's one hundred and ten, I'll be twenty, be twenty damage off. He's not using specials. He's not using tag teams, and he's not using ultra beasts. So Persian. Uh, okay, so he is using ultra beasts. Let me guess. 
I have, if your opponent has exactly three remaining, which means next turn he can definitely do it. Um, I guess custom casual. I guess. Um, yes. All right. Yes. That that works fine. Dark Rise. I'm sorry, but you gotta go. Cynthia, come back, please. Um. Okay. Right. Communications. Naganado. Um. Oh, Honchko is here. Oh, because I put him up on that turn. Oh, okay, I understand that. Right, brilliant. That works fine. That works fine. Um, can't play any tool cards, especially any your stadiums. I don't have Weavile. I don't have Weavile, and I need Weavile. Right, so I'm safe for one turn because he will not get that up quick enough nah he can't do Persephone quick enough unless he somehow retreats with Giratina in that case he will retreat quick enough but he has no energy in the discard which is good for me um hmm, this is very very tactical it's very tactical Cynthia, please don't have another stadium. I'm pretty sure you've got another Viridian Forest though, so that's going to be very disheartening. Ugh, Shrine of Punishment again, that's not a card that I need. Let me guess, I, oh yeah, then 110, then Shrine's going to knock me out. I guess fine, um, Berlin Persia will be after that. So let's see, 1, 2, 3, he's got 12 damage counters to chip. I think he might have me, you know. I have a feeling that he's going to... I have a feeling that I might get sniped. I have a feeling that I'm going to get chipped away. Oh, that's really not good. Actually, no, because if he does Blacephalon... Yeah, because if, if he does Blacephalon afterwards, it's back to four. That's fine. Um, that's... I have no issue. Okay. <sighs> yeah, I've got no problem with that. Um, I'm going to Cry, but not yet. Touch that. I've used all my stadiums, haven't I? That's two docks. Yeah, that's all of my stadiums, which means I'm a bit, I'm in a bit of a, bit of a pickle. Which means I'm gonna have, I have no choice but to get this damage chipped. If I can snipe him quick, if I can get rid of him quick enough, it's that shrine. Come on, Weavile, please. Yes, yes, yes. Right. Um. I really have to think now. Should have put on point ball. Should have. Should have, could have, would have, but it's already done now. Right. <sighs> Just looking at who I have. Good thing for me that Sneasel doesn't get affected by that snipe. Oh, it's really good that he doesn't get affected by that snipe. Um. Right. It's five extra energy, isn't it? Five extra energy. Ugh. Uh, just having a little ponder, a little think. I mean, oh, there's a switch. I mean, I could, I could bring Umbreon and Darkrai. Because he's got the most energy. Or because he's got the most HP, I mean. That could work. Yeah, that could work. So, if I do... I don't know. Cynthia and Caitlyn get rid of... I'm going to say Cherish Ball. Bring back... Cynthia. There's Dangerous Drill. Use that, get rid of Absol, get rid of Stadium, um, touch extra energy onto Umbreon and Dark, right? Yes, because if they do that, yes, okay. Just get ready. No, done. Done, done, done. Right. Yeah. Now, if there's somehow another shrine, I'll be alright. Because he won't be able to put it down. He's done two shrines and one Brilliant Forest. 
guess. One, two, he's... Oh, he's got the four. He's got the four for Blaseth. But then I've automatically got the knockout afterwards. I've got the knockout regardless. Doesn't matter who he hits me with. Because then I'll be one pri I'll be, he'll be one prize off. Unless he somehow manages to somehow knock out Umbreon and Darkrai. I think I've got it. Unless he somehow manages to get rid of Umbreon and Darkrai somehow. I think I've snagged it. I think I've snagged that win. Yep, there we go. Right, sweet. Good three. It was a good three matches, actually. Right, announcement time. Um, wow, this deck actually, this deck actually did some good dirt. Okay, right. Um, I really like this deck, actually. I, I can't even, I can't even show it and be like, ah, it's, it's all right. No, this deck is, this deck is pretty good. I like it. I really like it. It gives you so many options. I think I like decks that kind of, aren't specified for one Pokemon because then you have so many options to do kind of whatever you want. Like just like in that last match we had Greninja Zorak up there then that was our focus but then when Greninja Zorak was gone we had everybody else to focus on. Like for example we could focus on Honchkrow to prevent the stadiums coming up. If he brought the stadiums up or if he got special energy then Alolan Persian could have gone up. Um, then for HP wise Umbreon and Darkrai because they had the most HP out of everybody there. It, it's very easy to kind of change in like in one turn it's very easy to change who you want to focus on especially with cards like Weavile again to just shuffle energy around it's it's very easy um, it's a shame we didn't get to use Darkrai but then I think Darkrai is kind of just that little tech for Greninja Zorak just to get extra two energy on and also that little extra for Weavile to mess around with um, so Darkrai Prism Star isn't essential but it does help if you want to kind of have that card to discard that you don't, that you just want to get rid of. Say, say like if you've got like, because there was a like I think two times in two matches where we didn't really want to get rid of any cards and Darkrai was just kind of sitting there, so we could just get rid of Darkrai and then we still pulled the win. We still pulled the win, so that wasn't too bad. Um, we didn't even get to use Naganado even, but even that was amazing. The fact that we didn't even need Naganado. For Weavile to mess around with, and we still pulled off three wins. That was pretty good. That was really, really good. Um, the the item cards I can't really complain about was amazing. Red and blue, amazing. It's so good, especially for Weavile decks, especially for Weavile. Stealthy Hood. I can't believe I don't use Stealthy Hood as much as I should. Like I I really should use it as much like as much as possible because that was amazing. Giratina couldn't even scratch us in that last game. Could even touch Weavile in that last game. That is incredible. I was so amazed at that. Um, that, that, that was just great. Of course, like if you have things like Spell Tag, it will still hit you because it's not an ability. It's a tool card. But other than that, unless it's Spell Tag, that's pretty good. That is really really good. Um. Again, Cynthia and Caitlyn and Cynthia is just really good. Dangerous Drill um, came in such clutch. Like, we had that second Absol, and I know for a fact we wasn't going to mess around with another Absol. So, again, it's just there if you want to get rid of it. Um, Dark City worked well. Um, yeah, this deck is really good. I just love the whole concept of you don't need to focus on anybody specifically. And, you, and say if something goes wrong, you can change it on a whim. Like, literally, in that turn, you can just change it. Like, what you saw, we had Greninja Zorok, then as soon as they got knocked, we was like, as soon as they got knocked out, my, my apologies, they was just like, right, who can we sort out now? Honchkrow. Honchkrow doesn't let anybody attach stadiums do that. It was, it's great. I love it. But that's my opinion anyway. If you guys have any idea on who I should kind of put in or put out, but I think, in my opinion, this seems pretty tight this theme's pretty top tier we beat Giratina after all Giratina is like one of the best non-GX decks going around right now and that is incredible um but that's my opinion anyway if you guys have any suggestions on what I should end in and what I should take away again let me know um if you guys have any suggestions on what I should try and make let me know I'll be more than happy to try it out and as always guys if you enjoyed always click the like and always click on another video you guys always welcome back and I will see all of you in the next video right guys I will see you all later okay bye